All right, what's good, everybody? Um, I don't know if you guys mentioned, but I just changed my room around a little bit. Um, initially, I just moved my bed. Everything else is in the is in the same place. The table's still over there. The you got the the heat and package po posters up over there. Everybody knows I'm a big heat fan, big package fan, big Yankees fan. A lot of people don't know my favorite college teams. For anybody who doesn't know, UNC men's basketball, UConn women's basketball. Penn State football, and I also will go Penn State in men and women's volleyball because volleyball is my master sport. You know, in case anybody didn't know it. But um, what's up, everybody? It's 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 been a couple days. It's been a couple days. I'm not gonna lie. Since this COV stuff been going down, I had a lot of time in the house. I've been in my bag, thinking about going outside today for a minute. Of course, having my gloves and mask on or whatever, but it's it's high noon. Like it's it, the morning is over. It is now twelve. It is now twelve o'clock. Specifically twelve o four. It's a lot of stuff we gotta get into. It's a lot of stuff we gotta get into. First thing I want to talk about though is the postponement of the Olympics. Um. I want to give a huge thanks to IOC for deciding to postpone until 2021, and especially, I would like to thank, especially I would like to thank, um, for, well, actually not thank, but give a, um, just a little shout out to the people in Tokyo, Japan. You know, I hope everyone in Japan is doing okay. I hope everyone out there is doing okay. While we got the coronavirus going around, going around. Now again, you guys have already heard my opinions on it. You guys have already heard my opinions on the coronavirus if you haven't already. Um, I'm not, I'm not here to give my opinion again. It is what it is, and we gotta wait for some of our favorite sports to get back into action. But while we wait, we are not empty-handed. Trust me, we are not empty-handed. In the NFL, we got a lot of draft news. We got a lot of free agency news. Um, let me just look some some stuff over here. So there are still a, there are still a good number of free agents remaining. Um, mainly Davion Clowney, Jameis Winston, Cam Newton just got released by the Carolina Panthers. Um, I think you you also have Demarius Randall and various other and various other players that are still free agents. Dak Prescott is still going to be a Cowboy for the time being. But the Cowboys have not yet agreed. The Cowboys have not yet agreed on a final standing negotiation on how much he's going to get paid and such and such. Now, do I think Dak Prescott should get paid top dollar? Ah, I, I definitely think so. I definitely think so because hey, in the Tony Romo era, and especially when Dak Prescott was drafted. Um, they were reluctant to start him. They were very reluctant to start him. They wanted him to sit back and watch how Tony Romo does it, knowing that Tony Romo hasn't done it too much better than bad <laughs> for most for most of that time. And I'm, I'm not here to I'm not here to bash Tony Romo or anything. I'm just here to say that listen, the Cowboys have a lot of work to do. Um, the Cowboys center Travis Frederick just retired. 
from just retired um after I think ten or eleven seasons. But Travis Frederick was definitely, definitely one of the best centers in the league. Definitely one of the best offensive linemen. Um, I know it's tragic for Jerry Jones because one of his top priorities is keeping the offensive line intact. And so now the Cowboys are going to have to look for a new center to fill that void that Travis Frederick left. Whoever plays center for the, whoever plays starting center for the Dallas Cowboys, is going to have to fill. It's going to have some big shoes to fill. You know, it's hard enough playing center on any offensive line in the NFL, but to do what Travis Frederick, Frederick did, it. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. The Cowboys, I think, are going to have a down year, especially after losing one of their biggest linemen. And they just lost Byron Jones to the Dolphins. So their secondary, which is already which is already kind of either banged up or not doing so well, at the moment, their secondary is already taking a, already taking a dip. Um, I don't see things getting too much better for the Cowboys. Um... I don't even, at least if, if the Cowboys make the playoffs next year, it, it would kind of stun me. But if I see them getting consistent in the beginning, it, it won't work. Now, the only way it would work is if the Cowboys do what they honestly should have been doing this whole damn time. Give Ezekiel Elliott the ball more. And I think that's kind of why they don't want to pay that top dollar right now because many Cowboy fans and many people in that Cowboys organization right now is just thinking, 